Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is brought to you by Pear Tree. And don't forget to scan the QR code for our Pick'em Contest, where you can pick the results of tonight's fight on the main card for your chance to win Red Sox, Yankees, or WWE tickets. And now, this amateur featherweight fight is scheduled for three rounds, three minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, holding an amateur mixed martial arts record of two victories and two defeats. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 pounds. From Boston, Massachusetts, he's representing Daniel Gracie Fight Team and Loco Lobo MMA. Let's hear it for Joe Simba Atala. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, holding an amateur mixed martial arts record of one victory and two defeats. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 pounds. From Groton, Connecticut, he's representing Team Dexter Valley Tudo. Make some noise for Jake Kasky. When the action begins, our referee in charge of this featherweight contest is John English. Let me tell you. Here we go. Let me tell you. This is going to be insane. These two got murder in their eyes right now. Oh, yeah. These guys are ready to fight, and there's no bad blood. All respect, just all competition. Atala and the Leopard Print. Atala and the Leopard Print. White trunks for Kasky. Here we go. These guys meet in the middle, and they're already swinging. Joe Atala with the signature leopard print. Oh, that was a beautiful liver kick by Kasky. I was talking to uh, Joe Atala's boxing coach, Josh, earlier. He was telling me that Joe Atala is just a madman. He's in that, he, he's the type of person that he has to be angry to get in there to fight. That was a nice kick. Right to the back. Well done catching it by Kasky, but the scramble ended up working out in Natal's favor for a split second, but now they break and they're in the middle again. Don't forget, uh, J Jake Kasky, a high-level wrestler. It's be hard to take this guy down. Ooh, that was close. Ducked right in time. Kasky Look at him with a big smile on his face. Madman. Love it. Kasky does look like a madman. You see his eyes. He's looking right at his target. That was a nice combination. Great entry. I think he landed a couple of them nicely. Nice right hand from Atala off that kick. Atala's got big power. Good head movement from Kasky after eating one, shelling up, and avoiding most of the damage there. Nice inside trip attempt to a knee. Nice knee. Good Kasky defense. Working the clinch here against the wall now. I think he ate that power. Gotta be kidding. Joe Atala just throws heavy hands. Nice takedown. Nice take right back up. Very nice by Joe Atala to get right back up to his feet. Might have a, nope, never mind. I thought he had a guillotine bite for a second. Never mind. He's looking to switch that underhook. Great option off that guillotine bite. You got that underhook there to try to reverse position to no avail from Atala as Kasky finds himself on top. Kasky using that wrestling pedigree, trying to flatten him out here. Oh, some ground and pound. If he uses his, oh, working oh. for that arm. Oh. Bar. That's it, deep. Arm, arm bar. Bar. Elbows out, tight, elbows out, the elbows out. <laughs> that was Still tight for a top. second, but Kasky did a great job stacking that immediately with urgency because that was a really slow, <laughs> lightning fast bite. Mm -hmm. Atala super busy off his back here. I like it. And you got to do that with these wrestlers mm -hmm. when they're on top of you. Full mount here for Jake Kasky as the round ends. Finishing on top. Highly competitive round, both landing some bombs. 
both respecting each other's grappling. We knew that this fight was going to be highly contested. No doubt. What did you see there, Hillary? I saw some good knees, lots of good defense, um, but Kafki was able to get the takedown in the end and get on top. So I'm curious how, you know, the round two is going to happen or what's going to happen in round two. Joe Atella, I think he landed some heavy leather because it forced Jay Kasky to shoot. He felt that power. But Kasky, such a good wrestler, got on top and had some great control. That was a very interesting first round. Could have gone either way, you know, especially with uh, Joe Atella throwing up that arm bar. That was dangerous. That was fast. Fast, fast. But Kasky was covering up a little bit that round, so he went for the shot. So I'm sure he knows he needs to watch out for Otella's strikes. Second round here. Both guys still fresh, still ready to go. These are high-level amateurs. Hold on a second. technical difficulties with the cage door there, but we have it resolved. Our very own Andy K will help out with the cage door and I, as we get ready. There's nothing I won't do. Nice kick from Kasky, caught from Atala. Nice right hand from Atala. Kasky tried to throw a bomb on the return. Ooh, Ooh nice front kick Ooh. up the middle from Atala. Atala's, oh. Yeah. Atala looks like he's ready for the takedown this time. He's got a kind of a lower stance. And ripping Lots kick. Distance. And on the single, Good timing. got it. Beautiful Great take down. Atala's got to not settle here and get right back up. Nice. Nice with that butter. Yeah. That was close. Oh. oh, and there's the pass. Oh, but he gets his guard he gets back. Gets his guard back. Great jujitsu by Joe Atala to get his guard back there. I like how he's playing with that instep during the scramble. Yeah, that was nice. Almost threw him he off. He has that there. overhook working for the triangle, I think. Yeah, he was trying to keep, keep that left leg up there. Good Ooh, call. Cassie's going to let him up. I know, I'm surprised. Nice Ooh. jab from Matala. Right away with the strikes from Matala. That might have tagged Cassie. I think you're right. Because now he's right back to shooting. Matala going Ooh, for that Kimura. Trying to rip that arm in. I don't think he's got the position. No, so he should start too much with it. Maybe create a scramble, but no, he abandons. He's using gotta, that hook again to try to sweep. Yeah, that's nice. I like the way he's doing that. That was creative to go for that knee bar, which is totally legal. Nice. Oh, he's got the knee bar here. Wow, how did Kasky oh, not tap? Oh, have it. Oh, oh, my God, Kasky's not tapping. Oh, what? he lost it. That what? was crazy. That, that was, was cinched was... in, and he's just, like, not even thinking of tapping. Look at him with this. That was, that was right. dead to rights. Now you cannot reap the knee. Nice oh, left hook. Nice left Beautiful hook. timing. That, that hurt Atala. Atala might be hurt. You never see them. It's nice. a technical get up. Oh, he's right back to attacking. Go, go, he's right going back for to that, attack. He's going for that toe hold, which Ooh. is legal. You cannot go for a heel hook or reap the knee at all in amateur competition. But that knee bar, perfectly legal. The toe hold, he's going for legal. Kasky trying defending. to. we got to commentate like all commentators now. We've got to silent it down. Can't give him advice. But oh, he's going for the knee bar again. Kasky's as tough as they make him. That's a, that's a real good bite. Kasky. Really good fight. I think the cage is helping him a little bit. Yeah, there. absolutely. He's Kasky's almost he's cleared. almost inched out of it. He's yeah. angling his hips right to keep that knee bar out. But that's a yeah, really bad. Nice. Oh God! Oh tight. God! No, no. Oh, he's oh, turning, Kasky, down. Kasky's turning, turning his, knee. his knee just enough to stay out of that hyperextension. Now he's hitting him in the body. Great, great job. That is oh, he crazy. Is, he is stretching extension. it out here. That's pretty but gnarly. He's, oh. he's but he's again. just he's hanging on to it. This. Wow. You don't see this many leg attacks at the amateur ranks. You don't. That Good knee job by Kasky to Great weather defense. that storm. Very, very <laughs> Great round. How do you score that? That knee bar wow. was nasty on a couple of occasions. I, I really thought Kasky would have considered tapping a little bit more, but he didn't Lots even seem heart. to consider it for a split second. He just tried to scramble out of it, was able to create just enough of an angle on his knee to make that hyperextension not jeopardizing, but 
Yeah, way to be super patient and not, you know, maybe it wasn't that bad and he was able to have just enough space to move and feel good enough to strike and get his knee out. But also great t transitions from Matala. Scored a couple takedowns. Landed a really nice left hook that staggered Atala. So back and forth action that round, Richie. Yeah, that uh, this is really going to test their cardio now going into this third because that was nonstop action in that second round. Both guys are breathing heavy. Jay Caskey electing not to sit on the stool. Always like to see that. Maybe he's just trying to stretch out his knee. Yep, yep. Good point. Because so, sometimes you just got to get that blood flowing in there after uh, Billy Goff in the corner. He's got a fight coming up soon. Mike Dexter imploring his fighter to go forward here. We don't know how those rounds were scored, but uh, you can rest assured both these guys are going to bring 100% in this last three minutes. Here we go. Here we go. As if I wasn't like a fan it. of both of these young fighters enough. Use it to get game. into the clinch. Kasky. Beautiful, Beautiful. takedown. Good timing. Right back to work is Kasky. Uh, it, you can almost see the step-by-step -step attack of Kasky's shots. Mixing it up, throwing the strike, shoving high, changing levels, finishing with a low double. It's really it's nice job. to see. He's doing a good job climbing, but Atal is also being smart getting sits to the cage. He's got to get that overhook, though, to try to get up. Oh, he's got the uh, Dagestani handcuff. How about Tall's rolling throw? He's trying to attack that knee bar again. I don't. Look at Mike Dexter screaming. He's like in that position. You posture up and beat him until the ref pulls you. Just I like look at that. Oh, he's got him in a good position here. I like the Kasky's throwing a lot of strikes to the body when he's on the ground. You know, those yeah. definitely, definitely add up. And I like how he's being economic with it too because. Atala has shown a tendency to go for those butterfly hooks and really start sweeps explosively. So Kasky doing a good job of not striking himself into those positions where he could get swept. He's keeping Kasky. position priority. Going into mount here. Giving up the back almost. That's a good position right there, full mount here. Landing a couple of good shots. And oh, man. He just needs to posture up and land. But Atala, Atala, you know he's going to go for that cage push. Almost Jeez. gets it to no avail. Heavy, heavy oh, hips. Up on oh, top. Might he's got to be careful. Top. Watch that arm. Oh, no, oh, he let it go. What a scramble. But it was off that cage push that created just enough of a scramble for this to work in Otala's favor. Otella on top here now. Oh, he's got his back. Back and forth we go. Right back to his feet, Kasky. Nice. Right back to the shot. Beautiful chain Way wrestling. Stay active. One minute left in this fight. Not even, 50 seconds. Double underhooks for Kasky right in front of his corner, too. And on the double, there's the takedown. Joe's got to go big here. He's got to go for broke. a lot of takedowns in this round. Go for broken on this Kimura attempt if he wants. No, he's trying to. Trying to create space to get back up and land a flurry, but great ground and pound from Kasky. Atala definitely looking tired too. I saw him take some big, heavy breaths. It's been a pace for both of these guys. They're just non-stop uh, action. Back into the mouth. And Kasky's gonna let it go. Way to finish. Way to finish. Ooh. Oh, oh, wow. What a fight. What but then Kasky fight. landed a punch as the bell yeah. out and immediately yeah. apologetic. Nothing but respect fight. from both of these savage competitors. Great they fight. threw everything at each other. Both guys were getting tagged. Both guys in serious jeopardy. And uh, we actually switched the corner on our card, so I want to make sure the judges uh, scored their rounds for the right people over here. So uh, I got to go get the tally. You guys talk this one up. Yeah, just a back and forth battle, you know. Both guys having success, but I think Jake Kasky's wrestling was the difference there. I think you're right, and Jake did a great job of fainting, throwing his strikes, and getting the takedown. He was also super smart about, you know, when Atala was being defensive somewhere, he was going and looking for the opening somewhere else. Oh, we've seen this replay. That I mean, that oh, knee bar was goodness. almost dead to rights. That was close.
a lot of heart with uh, uh, Kasky. And here's the finish here. Kasky ending up in mount and just throwing heavy leather down. When you're up against the cage like that, it's super hard to move and climb up, especially when somebody's in mount. Great fight. Great, great fight from both guys. Kasky not looking too tired. Looks like he has good cardio after all these rounds. Fantastic fight from bell to bell. I wonder how the judges will score it. You know, and even though Kasky got a lot of takedowns, you know, Joe Attell was very busy off his back in those very first busy. two rounds. Yeah. Constantly so. going from one submission to the next submission yep. if he failed and good control when he was on bottom. And in the first few rounds, he was pretty good at getting back up. Um, obviously, as the rounds go on, it's definitely harder. You get a little more tired. Exactly. But so you got a big, strong wrestler like Jay Kasky on top of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he looks like a big 145-er. Oh, yeah. Big guy. Atala definitely landed some heavy strikes at the beginning also. Had Kasky, yeah. you know, on his toes wanting to shoot. Probably going to take a second to get the scorecards. So we did have to last second change their corner colors, so... They're just double checking to make sure that the scores are correct when they're picking the right guy. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to take a peek at that QR code you see on the screen. We're waiting for the judges to render their scores here. So use this opportunity for your chance to pick the results of the main card fights and have a shot at winning Red Sox, Yankees tickets or tickets to a WWE Impact event. Scan the QR code for your chance to win and the decision will be ready shortly. Still tallying up the scorecards. Close, close fight, you know. You gotta make sure you get those things correct. But, you know, could go, go either way, but I think we're good to go here. All righty, make it official here. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. With scores of 30, 27 across the board, we have your winner by unanimous decision, Shake Kasky!